Hello. Welcome back to another Tangled Up in Our Week. Last week was very interesting <laughs> <laughs> um, and not in a good way. So um, I had COVID again, fourth time. I can't believe it's been four times. <laughs> Still got my cough. Um, I, I'm not going to lie, I was really ill. So you wasn't, you was quite ill this time, but was it like two or three when it wasn't that bad? And this is one... the, this is by far the worst. They would the, think the first time I had it, I didn't feel great. The, the first sec- time we lost, we lost smell, smell and taste. Yeah. Um, second, I think the second and third time, it, I was okay. Like, I, I mean, obviously, I still stayed away from people, but yeah. I was okay. This absolutely floored me. Mm. I, um, what day was it? So Saturday, I had a headache, but you just kind of think, well, mm. headache. Um, Sunday still had the headache, could not just couldn't get rid of it. Monday I went to work, headache was better, and then it was literally Monday at work. I went, my throat's gone really scratchy, and, and you know you just think, oh, I can feel myself like I'm not yeah. starting to feel very well. And then literally, well, I went, I went to bed Monday night thinking I don't feel right. Woke up Tuesday morning, felt absolutely horrendous. Because when you spoke, I was like, "Yeah, right." You're like, "No." <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did you say yeah? I said yeah, and you went, are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Oh my god, that was in the middle of the night, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? Um, but literally, <laughs> like, not good, not good at all. Um, I only really properly feel a little bit more. Can you tell I feel a, little, a bit better? Yeah. Like, I've had, I don't even know like where to start with it really, but like, I was in bed for two whole days. Um, and I just felt horrible, I had a cough, um, my breathing wasn't great, I just felt horrible. And then um, as, a, as like day three here, I will say day three, cause like I'll say one from the day that I tested, mm. um, I still felt really rough, but then this mist of days, just like, uh, I don't know, I just didn't feel like I was here. Yeah. I felt like I, I was- it's brain fog, isn't it? Yeah, like it was like a brain fog. I don't know, I just, it was, it was horrible anyway. And then, and then I was working from home because yeah. I, just, I, I know I was finding it really hard because my job, I have to really concentrate. And I, and I was, re- anyway, finding it really, really difficult. And then I was actually back in work yesterday um, in the office and, I, and it was my first day out of the house and I still had the brain fog. You know when you think, you know when you've been out after you're feeling really, really poorly and you just feel like you're there, but the world is just moving around you, but I don't know, it's just weird, it's just a weird feeling anyway. Um, and I ended up coming home in the afternoon because I wasn't feeling great still. But today, I feel loads better. So I'm getting there, but th- I mean, re- pretty bad. It was interesting because spoke to me on the phone yesterday and they were like, I can't believe like COVID's kind of still going around. And I was like, yeah, and like I've had, this would be, I'm, I'm going to go from next jab. This would be what, jab five? No, this is four, isn't it? I've had three, and you must, you've must you definitely had four. I've had, had no, four. that's what I mean, oh, so, so this will be, be, this will be oh, five, yeah, so my yeah. next one will be five, and yeah. I looked and I can't actually book my, book it. Mm. Now, I wish I booked it a few weeks ago, because yeah. I, I honestly, you know, you just like... They don't tell you, do they? they just, no, you, you just, just assume that, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, and I phoned my doctors and they didn't say anything, and they just, I went on the um, an, an HS COVID thing, and it said basically, um, if you're immunocompromised, which I am, then you can have your spring one. Fine, I'm gonna go and get it. But honest to God, like guys, if you, I just, just do your best to just like try not to get it because I have been absolutely fine, and literally this it finished me off. Mm. And I think it's gonna take me a little bit more. I mean, I still, I still obviously don't feel great. I feel better, but like it's gonna take me like a week or two, I think, to get back on track and stuff. So. Yeah, because you can still have. The, the symptoms after you're not yeah. contagious anymore. Yeah, so. exactly. But luckily nobody, because obviously I was in work on the Monday, nobody in my office caught it, everyone tested, everybody was fine. And that's another thing, you're thinking, oh my God, who have I given it to? Mm. Like, oh yeah, just just horrible, really horrible. But on a positive note, thank you so much for your lovely messages yesterday. Um, I don't like shower from the rooftops when I'm sick. Like, you, it was you that put that message on. I don't yeah. tell people when I'm sick because people don't want to know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And also, like, I haven't been feeling like great 
great either because I've been like stuck in the house so like I've not been in a very good place really and um, but the messages really really helped so thank you so much for those um, and I have got replied to some of them and I will get around to replying to the others as well but I, do, I, I did read them all so thank you so much and um, so yeah so here we are <laughs> back to a bit more normality and yeah. um, so we did actually film some stuff prior to like me catching covid so um we'll put that in now so we did like we went to heaton park and had a picnic and i think there was a couple of other things that we did so we'll just put that in now so we're actually off to the park because we actually don't feel like doing anything <laughs> at all but the weather is so nice here today yeah. and believe me when i say that anybody else who's in like the manchester area knows it doesn't happen too often that we get weather like this this nice so we said let's just make an effort and try and go out and do something so we're actually we've got a few bits for a picnic and we're going to go to the park and have a picnic taking the dog with us um but it gets out of the house it means we don't have to clean the garden furniture which is why we're not staying at home yeah and um, that's that's a job for another week um but yeah so i'm really looking forward to it, it should be nice i'm just worried it might be a little bit busy yeah i mean we're not planning on walking too far no. anyway because because of our walk we yesterday. did a big walk yesterday <laughs> so we just want to do a little amble to like a little so we found a spot. <laughs> Here. She's thirsty. Oh look. It's really warm. It's nice though. It's not too it's not like overly warm, is it? No. Um, but we also realised when we're coming in that there's some kind of concert here tonight. I don't know if you listen really quietly, you can hear it. Just hear the drums, the bass. <laughs> Someone called the resurrection. It's terrible, that isn't it? I'm gonna have to Google him. No, we like we I like musical theatre. Like, I know. Yeah. I mean, we know some music, but we've not heard of those guys. So, uh, yeah, we'll Google it. But we've also got our picnic basket. You all done? <clears throat> okay, we're all sat down. It's nice. Yeah. It's oh, not... the dog keeps running. She's on her extender lead. Yeah. <laughs> she keeps running, so every so often, my arm will just go. <laughs> oh, she runs around this way. And comes round and comes back in through here and then just wraps everything up in the in the lead. Look at her. Oh, are you giving her a bit of strawberry? No, she's got one of the little little treats. The little meaty chews, but she wants me to hold it while she eats it. <laughs> she can like she's just heard a bird then. Oh look. What's she like? So I hadn't bought these. They're kettle chips, but they're sourdough bites. They're really good. Yeah, well, you weren't sure, sure because, were you? Well, because the thing that got, that what, the reason why I chose them, other than the fact that they were reduced. Oh, were they um, reduced? Yeah, yeah. As in, like on off. On off, yeah. Um, is that the the flavour is, is cheese and vinegar flavour? Well, it's balsamic vinegar. So I was a bit like, mm, okay. Yeah. So it's nice though. Right. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Who knew? <laughs> and I've got these J two O spritz because I was really sad because. I wanted to have like J2O out of our little glasses from our basket but I used this basket during Greece and then um, I put I've taken the glasses out and put them somewhere in the house and now I can't find them so I was like oh no we can't get like a like a bottle and like have a little a little cheers <laughs> and um so we got these which are really nice apple and watermelon ones are really nice so this is the current situation <laughs> I'm still getting tighter when she's, when she's pulling. I don't know, currently wrapped right around my neck. <laughs> come on, come back this way. Come on. Come on. Just dishing out my cakes. <laughs> dishing out. <laughs> Tal was really warm. That better, babe. She won't settle though, she? No, she, she like just that. won't sit down, no. <laughs> my falafel. <laughs> Can she have falafel? Never wants it anyway. No, there's never a eat from the route. No, she doesn't. There's a dog over there. Okay, these are your cakes. I know it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so um you're gonna clean the garden furniture, although now I've said that the sun has gone in. Has gone in. It was really sunny yesterday, but you were working. Yeah. So you didn't get to enjoy the sun, so we thought, oh we'll sit outside today. Yeah. And now the sun's just like going in and out and we're not quite sure if it's gonna if it's gonna be worth it or not so i don't know anyway you're gonna clean the garden furniture anyway just in case it does i'm gonna nip out just got a few errands to run because obviously i've not been and done anything for ever so um i'm gonna nip out do a few things maybe grab some bits and 
snacky snacks and we said we might have a bit of a picky tea that's because we've been watching Mark and Gemma's vlog so yeah. we said we might do a picky tea today so we might do that um get some nice treats and then see where the see where the day takes us okay okay I was coming to uh bring some Anthony's trousers back that he bought um I thought I'd have a quick look around Asda because sometimes I do some nice summer stuff so uh and sometimes I've got some nice Disney stuff as well so can have a look around and see and I've got this like Disney cookware section at the moment it's a little bit too busy for me but I do like these ice cube trays three pounds they're very cute look at the size of this stitch cookie jar <laughs> it's massive and they've got a plate there as well oh and a cake tin so they've got like Alice in Wonderland as well Quite like this. I like anything with Grogo on it to be honest, but it's only two pounds fifty, it's quite cute. Oh no, three pounds that one. May is a big birthday month for our family. Lots of people have birthdays in May, so I'm just picking out some birthday cards. Um, my nephew is two. It's also Anthony's birthday as well coming up, so I'm just gonna pick out some cards. Now I can film my nephew's birthday card because um he won't see the vlog. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna get this. get this one I think. Such a beautiful day. I'm just going to put some stuff in the car. I'm just going to go to M&S, pick up a few uh, treats in there and then I've got one more supermarket to go to and then back home um, and it's like cleaning the garden furniture so we can sit outside which is nice. So Marks and Spencer do a really good plan kitchen range. Um, we've had quite a few things from this before. Um, I think I'm going to try these Brava stirred fries today and the cauliflower popcorn looks really good as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these. So these are Marks and Spencer's. They are quite expensive. It's $3.25 for two, but they're very, very cute. I'm going to get them for Anthony. So I'm home and it's got all the uh, garden furniture out and cleaned it. Thank you. I don't know why I, I, don't know why I put like all four chairs out. I know. Like, chair, like, we're <laughs> Have we got people coming over? No, I don't. <laughs> You never know. Uh, Tyler's just exploring outside. It'll be the first time actually we've sat outside with her, won't it? Yeah. Aww. She loves being outside. <laughs> we got some nibbly bits. We did. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, just got those in the air fryer, so we're going to have those. I've got a, an alcoholic peach bellini. Non alcoholic peach bellini. Non alcoholic. Okay. I just sorry, I went to get Schlur. Because oh, yeah. I thought we were sitting outside, so let's have a schlur. Well, like, that, when, when we pretend to be fancy, we get a schlur. <laughs> we're not fancy at all. <laughs> get a schlur. I just really like That's it. Fun. I feel like it's refreshing. <laughs> so, but then I was like, shall I get J2O spritz? And then I was, and I saw that and I was like, no, let's get this. Okay. Feels feels nicer. So, um, we're, we're going to try the peach bellini. And then I've also, I also bought, we're not going to try them now, but I got some of those crumpet thins, the Warbies. Oh, the new ones? Yeah. So, we'll try those. And we'll let you know at the live. But if you if you've tried them, let us know in the comments. Like, have you tried them yet? I suppose they're only good like if you prefer your crumpets to be crispy, crispy. rather than soft. Which I don't actually. I do. So you I, do. I think You'll I would like them. I prefer a crispy crumpet. <laughs> I won't like them. I'm like, gonna be like any more any more English. We're talking about crumpets. <laughs> crumpets, crumpets, and peach bellini. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it. Belvoir Farm. They do a really nice ginger drink as well. Um, oh, is it that company? Yeah. Um, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. So we're gonna try it. So we've got our uh, Mickey Me Mickey Mouse ice cubes. Mickey Mouse. We're trying to <laughs> so we're trying to be fancy, and then and then we put our Mickey Mouse. Ice cubes. <laughs> that plastic ice cubes. <laughs> in. We've got in the wine we're setting our own trend. Mm -hmm. There we go. Do you want to try it? Yeah. I've never had a Bellini before, so I don't know what I'm. You miss it out. Alright. <laughs> I don't know if, if if I say it tastes like a Bellini, I wouldn't know because. No, well, it's just like a fruit, like a fruit. It smells like. It just like peach. Reminds me of those yogurts. You see it? Oh, what, as a kid? <laughs> it tastes like peach fizz. Peach fizzy, yeah. yeah. Is that right? Is it refreshing? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It? Ah, very it's nice. not very sweet. Is it not? No. Oh, okay. I mean, it is a little sweet, but it's not like... Chicken. It's not It's not like a... Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, good. Guess how much it was? Me guess. Yeah. Well, I know that the ginger one's quite expensive. Yeah, it is. Probably like don't don't shout at me when you find out how much four. I spent on it. It was like four. It was like no three pounds, like fifty five. I think it was. It's quite expensive. And you probably like we were saying like, hang on, let me show you. Like this is how much is left after we've got two two glasses out of it. So, yeah, 
only gonna get a glass each, two glasses each out of it, but that's okay. If as long as it's nice, that's all that matters. I love this weather. <laughs> I really like, do you know what, I was, I was just, I was literally just about to put a, um, Instagram pack was done. I'm just thinking to myself, isn't it crazy like how much a different like it can make you feel, the weather can make you feel so different. Yeah. I think because I've been feeling rubbish about being stuck inside and because I've not been feeling well, like just being outside is nice, but like the fact that the sun's out and it's just nice, isn't it? It's not too warm either. No, it's it's just the right temperature, mm. I think. I think it said it was gonna be well, it's probably not that now, but it was, there was highs of twenty one today. Okay. Which for us is quite warm, but for, for other countries it's probably like winter. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is perfect for us. Like yeah. this is nice. The only problem is, is obviously it goes cold. Like it'll go cold yeah, like yeah, as quickly. soon as the sun goes down. Yeah. But uh, yeah. It's supposed to be like this pretty much all week, I think. Mhm. Mm yeah, and it's your birthday next week. It is. Yeah. So let's hope it stays. <laughs> so we've had our our picky tea. It's not really a tea, was it? It's more of a lunch. Yeah. Our picky lunch, little buffet bits. Um, and then I'm just going to share this yum nut from M&S. So this is, did you say it was a millionaire one? It's a, it, yeah, it says on the side, it's a millionaire cronut. Oh, billionaire yum nut. Are we not allowed to say cronut? <laughs> cronut is copyrighted by the creator <laughs> of the cronut. Um, and so yeah, we're just going to share this. So there is a magpie in the garden. Oh no! <laughs> She's like, uh, excuse me, that magpie oh. was just eating my food. How cheeky! Uh, Are you alright, babe? Ah, well done, well done for chasing she it off. She doesn't know what to do. She's, she's shocked. <laughs> shocked to the core. Aww. Well, my quiet dog food. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this crazy dog. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on it's wednesday. wednesday it's wednesday so we've had a couple of days where we've not really done very much um i think it was only yesterday wasn't it i think we filmed on oh no no we did film tuesday. monday we did film monday or tuesday we did film yeah, sunday and we've obviously had got some other clips in there as well but um but yeah so we just thought we'd just pop on and just do a little bit today i'm feeling loads better i still got a bit of a cough still very like Sorry if you're eating, like, just very, like, phlegmy and, like, not very nice still, but I'm definitely, like, feeling loads, loads better. The other day we went shopping and, um, you'll notice a theme, um, occurring. Oh, no. It's a slippery slope. It is a slippery slope. Um, and, um, and it's not me this time. <laughs> um, but, um, we bought something in the supermarket that we just thought we'd show you. No, we're not going to, we're not going to show the whole process. Because no. we don't want to be, we don't want to, we, don't, we want to mix it up a bit. But um, go on, go ahead. So basically, whenever we're now in the supermarket, I always have to look at the Lego section to see if anything's on <laughs> offer because um, a few weeks ago they had some on offer and, and they'd sold out. Oh. Um, and then when we went in the other day, I saw that the one that I wanted was on offer again. So was it that one that was on offer when you went in last time? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and there wasn't any on the shelf. No. So I was like rooting about on the shelves trying to find it and it wasn't there. <laughs> See if someone had hidden it. Yeah, and then <laughs> I checked online because sometimes you can check it, like what if items are in stock. And it said it was in stock. And so me just being me was like cursing cursing the staff going, oh, they're keeping them behind to keep <laughs> for themselves. I really don't think they are. I know, yeah, just me being <laughs> dramatic. Um, so I basically ordered it online to click and collect for the next day. Yeah. So this is what I got. <laughs> So I have already opened it, so it might fall out, but this is a little, oh, they uh, little baby group. So it should have been £45, uh, and it was £27 with the club card. That's a really good deal. So it's like £18 saving. Um, so yeah, I got this. I can't believe you tore it open like that. Well, I think that's how you have to open it. Is it? I don't know. Are so, you not supposed to keep that? See, I don't know. Like, I don't know what the whole thing is with Lego. Like, are you supposed to keep the boxes? Because we did keep the we we kept the haunted mansion box, didn't we? Well, because you wanted to, I mean, I would throw it. Away. Would you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, how many pieces does it have? I have no idea. Does he not tell you? No. Oh. So it's a baby Groot, and then you get like a little um, cassette and this oh. little plaque as well. <laughs> Um, so it's not as it's not as complex. Well, well I don't <laughs> Haunted know. Mansion wasn't wasn't complex. There was just but... a lot of pieces with that one. Yeah. I'm sure that we checked them with the pieces with this so, one. 
And it's definitely not as many pieces. This is three bags. Yeah. And the Haunted Mansion was five bags. And this one's yeah. like 160 Ooh. steps or something. Tyler wants to know what's going on. Um, Hello. So yeah, it's it's going to be a slippery slope. Yeah, and also we've got nowhere to put anything like this. So if you're going to start buying things like this, we need more like shelves and stuff. So that we have to do, if that's your compromise, you have to like... Put more shelves up. Yeah, you have to get the do, <laughs> do some DIY and then that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do it tonight. Do you want to start it tonight? I might start it tonight. Okay. I don't know how, how quickly you can do it. I might be able to might be able to finish it, but we're yeah. not going to do the whole like, now nah, we're on back no, to... No, but we will, we will like, give you updates and stuff. Yeah. I also really want to make a little neck, like a little bandana for Tala to go on a collar. Oh, okay. I just wanted to have a go and see if I could do it. So maybe maybe I'll start that while you're doing that. It has to be super small. I know. I know. I, I was like thinking it. that. It is gonna have to be really super small, is it? Just one that slides on a collar, and I have made one before. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna have to be like just big, a little bit bigger than cat size. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so good. It's really, really good. Here he is, hard at work. Nearly <laughs> there now. Look. Ooh. I'm on bag three. <laughs> so you just about to do his face. I do his head, yeah, no. Aww. And there's also the. the oh, tape. it actually comes as a tape. Oh, yeah. that's good. Where to build it. Ah. Oh. And then the little. Oh, I like that comes with a little sign. Mm. Oh, very good. I have to get the others. Are there others in the series? I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> Don't tell me if there is. No. <laughs> it's Thursday. Yes. Um, we have had a hectic evening. So, Tyler's not been well the last couple of days. Oh. She's just had, like, tummy issues, yeah. is how we'll put it. Um, so, she's been up and down, though. Like, she kind of had tummy issues, and then it got a bit better. And now she's got some issues again. So we did like a, well, you did like a, what was it, like an online? Yeah, so with our pet insurance, because our vets were actually closed, so we couldn't phone them, but with our pet insurance, there's an app that we have access to where it's like a 24-7 vet, so we've just been chatting to them. Mm -hmm. um, and they just advised to just keep giving her boiled chicken and some rice and to go and buy some prebiotic stuff from the from the pet shop, so we've just been there to get that. Literally just before they closed. Yeah. <laughs> I literally ran in and the guy was like, we're closing in 10 minutes. I was like, fine. Aww. Running towards the shelf. And then um, we've got a new neighbour. So he popped round before just to kind of introduce himself. And he brought us a box of chocolates, mm. which is really nice. Um, so that was really lovely. Um, and now we're trying to make the dog's tea and our tea. And it is half past eight. <laughs> so we would no. never normally eat this late, no. actually. But, That's the um, air fryer going on. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So you wanted to show you, because you finished your group last night. Yeah, I did. It's here. It's really good. Really, really good. Ah, I am good. So good. I was saying like I love the little detail, you know, like the the little twigs. There's like little vines on yeah. them and stuff. The head was really fiddly to do, so it took me a little while to do that because like every time I put an extra bit on, then another bit fell off and stuff. And so um, I'm not sure how secure it is. So I'm just like I'll being just, very careful with it. I'll just leave <laughs> it there now. But um. We're gonna we're gonna have well we're gonna try the panda albums that um, I got at Marks and Spencer's. Let me just cut this. So here they are. Yeah. So there you go. If you see them a little bit closer. So they only take a minute and a half in the microwave. So we're gonna have these. We've got something else in the air fryer. We're gonna have like these as like a starter. Yeah. But the the flavors it's fluffy. So it says fluffy steamed buns filled with mushrooms and hoisin sauce. You don't normally so, get like ones like that, do you? Normally stuff like that is normally meat. In them. Yeah. I've never seen one that's just like mushroom. Oh my gosh, I thought there was oysters in it then. It says King Oyster Mushroom. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're going to try these. We've waited for a minute. They're now ready. Here they are. Mm. I was going to cut one to see what it looked like, but it's got a little cute face. I know, I, I was just going to say that. Like, I don't actually want to eat them. Go on. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's interesting because it does look like. Um, it's a mushroom and hoisin. Yeah, it looks like a duck. Yeah. Like a duck hoisin, doesn't it? Yeah. Does it smell like hoisin? It smells like mushroom. Okay. I like mushrooms. Sweet mushroom. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be too hot for me to eat this. Just bite at the edge. Like just this. The, just the, just the <laughs> I like the little uh, the ears and stuff are just. Are they are they bow bun as well? Mm -hmm. Just okay. dyed black. Yeah. Careful. Need a drink? Is it hot? Mm. Oh no! You just 
disappointed. There's not much flavour to it. I th I, do you know what though? I like bao buns, but I think that too. I think you get more of the bun flavour. Yeah, you do. Rather than the actual inside. The actual inside bit doesn't have any flavour to it. I thought it would have been hoisin, it would actually taste like hoisin. Does it not taste like, oh no, I'm just looking forward to that. You can try it, but it's very subtle. subtle. Oh, I'm so bit disappointed. They had different ones, by the way. They had like a unicorn one and a little bunny rabbit one as well. Okay. Mmm, plain. Oh, it's nicer than I thought it was going to be. Okay. I think, I think there's too much bun. Yeah. However, the bunny's lovely and soft and squishy. But no taste. I think yeah. it needs salt, like on with the if the stuff on the inside. I think it just needs a bit of salt or something. Yeah, a bit more flavour. Mm. I like it though. I was a bit like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I'm onto these tonight, but I, it is nice. It's really nice. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Um, so I'm working from home today. Um, it's lunchtime, but I'm actually having to work through my lunch because um. Tala's still not well. So we've decided, even though we did the on online consultation with the vet yesterday, we are going to take her in because actually she, basically this morning she wasn't eating. Um, she didn't eat anything. So she did have some tea last night, a little bit. Um, but she's still having tummy issues. She was very, very quiet this morning, um, which is not like her. Um, she's still there, like she's herself, you know, she's still like herself really. Um, when I took her downstairs before to let her out, um, when she came back in, she wanted to play with the ball. So she is, she is like still quite happy, which is good, but, um, yeah, we're just a bit worried now because it's been it's been a couple of days um, and we've been doing the bland diet thing. So I think just to rule out anything and just for kind of peace of mind really, we're just going to take her. So I'm going to finish work a little bit earlier um, so I can take her to the vets. But yeah, that's where we're up to. So um, yeah, a bit worrying, especially because she's like our she's like our little baby. So <laughs> anything that um, anything that kind of happens that's like out out of the ordinary, then obviously you're going to worry about it. So um, but yeah, so that's that's what's happening today. So you see this light on the floor here. This is the reflection, <laughs> and she just loves to chase it. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Go get it. Where's it gone? There it is. Go find it. So we've just arrived at the vets. Um, <laughs> as you can hear, Tala sounds okay. Tala, what are you barking for? You silly, silly sausage. Um, so yeah, so I'm really hoping they can just get her sorted out. This afternoon she's wanted to go out like, like at least every hour, if not more than that. Yeah, don't know. Hope they can sort her out, really. So let's go in and uh, and see see if they can uh, do anything. It's Saturday, um. So just let you know how we got into the vet. They um, weren't overly concerned. I know, oh, baby. She's a bit better today, though. Um. So they're giving us some tablets to settle her stomach, and then they said basically they're giving us a sample. So we've got to do samples, which is a bit gross, but um, that's okay. Um. And he did say um three days of a sample and then if she gets better then just throw it away basically you don't need to bring it in but uh, they are closed Monday so he said if you could just call us on Saturday, Sunday to let us know how she is but she seems a bit happier today I think yeah we, we, we bathed the last we night did. as well so and just... she wasn't like crazy like she normally is no she was just she was quite happy in there I think, yeah. I think she was happy to like be cleaned Bleed. up to be honest yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah so that's all good hopefully she'll be okay but we'll keep you guys posted anyway but no be useful so thank you so much for watching this week guys we hope you're all doing okay uh, we're all doing okay now <laughs> um let us know in the comments what you've been up to we do love to hear from you guys and we'll see you all next week bye, bye.